Let's take a look at finding the sample standard deviation on a TI-30XS calculator. Specifically, we're going to find a sample standard deviation of the following numbers. So I need to go input these in. So I'm going to go in my data option. Now I already have those numbers in there, but I'm going to clean them out, just show you how to clean them out and re-enter them and so forth. But uh, delete an individual number, you press your delete button. To clear out the entire list, you press your data button, and it brings this, uh, the clear menu up. And then you can push in on clear one, and it clears it out. Okay, so I'm going to type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So I got 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter. 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. I would recommend in your stats course that you go up and down, up arrow and verify all of your numbers. It's so easy to type a number in wrong. Once you're done, you do a second mode to exit out. Okay, we won't go into the stat. Uh, so I do second data to access stat. And I want to choose one of our stats. I got a single list of numbers. Press enter on it, and it um, comes up in data is L1, which is fine. That's where we put our data. If you put it in L2, you'd want to highlight L2, right arrow over to it, and then press enter on it. Frequency is always 1 on this. If you're um, curious about the explanation, just watch the mean uh, video for the TI-30XS. And then I'll choose calculate. Now if I down arrow, you don't have to down arrow, but... The third one, the SX, this is our sample standard deviation. So it's 15.11 if I round it to two decimal places. So that's our sample standard deviation. In this video, we took a look at how to find the sample standard deviation on a TI-30XS calculator.